My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and I'm on board a 2015 Beneteau Swift Trawler 44. This is a very cleverly laid out boat and this particular Swift Trawler has some unique features like a gorgeous dark blue uh, hull. She also has a gyro stabilizer sea keeper which I believe may be the only 44 with that equipment. She is also in excellent condition. So please take a look at this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the information below. start our tour of Naughty Kids doing a quick walk around of the exterior. As you can see, she, she actually has the Sea Keeper on right now and if you compare her to some of her other boats that are in the harbor, she is she's sitting nice and stable so that Sea Keeper gyro stabilizer works both whether you're at rest or underway. This gives you a good look of the wide side decks that you have walking forward on the boat. And this super cool dark blue gel coat hull. So looking at the aft cockpit from the swim platform, you can see that there's great versatility for additional seating and also molded in seating as well. Um, back here in uh, the swim platform, there is a ladder that pops up right here. And then this compartment over here is a wet locker for great additional storage. Underneath these two compartments here is also storage as well as underneath this L-shaped fixed seating as well. So this is clearly a great place to hang out um, undercover. This is nicely illuminated this space here and certainly a place where uh, people will tend to gather. Moving up along the side decks here, you will notice that uh, there are these doors and this is great where if you are hanging out in this aft cockpit and it is breezy, um, you can shut these doors uh, which will help cut the breeze quite a bit. Um, you have quite high railings here um, and you also will notice this door to the out to get out the side of the hull as well which is convenient if you are at a uh, floating dock on the starboard side i also do love this uh, immediate access door here into the pilot house stepping up here you have a nice sun pad there is good storage in this anchor locker as well. Here's a nice view looking aft. You can have good communication while anchoring with the helmsman. And we'll come back into the cockpit and give you a good look at the spaces in the interior. Walking into the salon, you can see all the windows that wrap around and these double doors here are great because you can really open up this space. Um, one feature that I really like are these screens that you can, uh, there's screens on either side that you can shut so you can have this door open but keep the bugs out. Here you have a little TV with a DVD player. This boat does have the tropical AC so you have additional air conditioning units to keep her particularly cool if it is a sunny New England day or if you are down in southern climates. <clears throat> this galley is nicely laid out. You do have a propane stove here. Uh, this is also uh, propane as well so you don't need to be running the generator when you're making your meal. 
Um, this is a corner freezer in here, very deep. And you've got some clever storage throughout. Um, you have your dual deep um, sinks here. Right here is a refrigerator. One thing I really like about this galley is when you are working, you have a great workspace, but um, if you need some extra space, you can just flip this helm chair forward, like so. And this gives you even more working space um, in the galley. So very clever use of space here. Um, of course, you do have your trash conveniently located right here. Um, and just some more storage here. So, um, you know, Beneteau has done a fabulous job detailing the layout of this boat to maximize the space. At the helm here, I really do like this bolstered seat. You, if you choose to stand, stand or sit, um, you also have this board here that drops down to give you a little bit more height if you need it but um, I find standing here is perfectly appropriate. And your mullions are very skinny here, so you don't have any real disruption in visibility. So you have an immediate side access door to the side ducts if you are docking on the starboard side. Um, and you also, of course, have that this door here um, to get simple access to a floating dock as well. So extremely well thought out here. Um, props to Beneteau. And again, you have another screen here, which is fantastic if you are in a buggy area and want some fresh air. At the helm here, you've got your Volvo Penta engine displays. Um, this boat has about 575 hours. You've got your Raymarine uh, hybrid touch autopilot. This is your gyro stabilizer sea keeper. Um, it is a uh, rolly in this harbor here. So um, I did turn the sea keeper on and it is fantastic. Um, here are your trim tabs, uh, bow and stern thrusters, spotlight. So you've got a lot of a lot of equipment here, very nicely laid out. VHF radio right down here. Big destroyer wheel, so um, very nice space. And you also have additional storage up here for bits and bobs. Um, this little well here also I think you'd find being very useful while underway on the boat. So now let's go down below. And here is your day slash guest head as well. This head also has an electric Jabsco head, uh, two opening window ports, um, a mirror with lighting, storage above and below the sink vanity. Here is your shower nozzle, which can get put up right on the bulkhead right here. So again, another efficient use of space for this guest and day head. Coming into your master here. Very bright and light. You've got nice hull ports, port and starboard. You've got a nice hatch above with blackout screens and bug screens. Um, here to port, you've got a hanging locker that illuminates when you open and some shelving over to start up just a little bit forward. Um, I really like how they uh, have recessed the TV on this bulkhead so it doesn't stick out too much. You also have nice Bose speakers as well for in starboard. Um, underneath this cabinet here is another hanging locker and I think you'll be impressed by the amount of storage underneath this berth here with the assist of a gas strut so it's easy to get to but huge storage underneath here. It's really nice. And then from the master, you have your own direct vanity with storage above and below, and then access to a separate shower stall. Nice and bright. All surfaces are nice and easy to clean. 
So now let's head into the guest room. Moving into the guest room, you can see this is a nice big berth. Lots of natural light coming into this cabin. Um, and there's also great storage right here. This hanging locker in here. And then this is actually quite large as well in here. So great second stateroom. Quiet, comfortable. And now I want to show you some special features on the salon aft here. So I want to quickly touch on the versatility of this uh, settee up here in the salon. Clearly right now we are set up for uh, just some nice lounging. You do have this movable ottoman and this table right here, um, all in nice range of the TV. But um, I'm going to quickly convert this over to more of a dining table mode so you can get a sense as to how much space you actually have. So stand by. So here our salon area is set up for dining for four. You could e easily add in a fifth or a sixth person if you wanted to, but this is just to get a nice sense as to the sense of space. You can also see how the table here is um, expandable if you need it. And now I'm going to show you a very clever feature, which is converting this space to a third cabin. And here is an example of what the salon is like and with a third cabin. You've got a great full walk around of this berth and you've got little uh, places to sit on either side as well. Um, and these privacy curtains are very nice to block out the light. Um, this, also, this side also does have um, some ocean air shades, um, but uh, this is a great use of space. Um, if the guests forward in the cabin um, want to get out, they can utilize the side door to still get out of the boat without disrupting their guests that are aft here. Um, and they also still have access to the galley to make a cup of coffee before they head up to the flybridge and enjoy the morning air. So um, I just love how well thought out these spaces are and, um, and how usable of the third cabin this is as well. So now that we're done in the interior of the boat, let's head out to the flybridge. So let's make our way up to the flybridge now. First thing you'll notice as we make our way up here is the substantial steps that are taking us up here and along with the stainless rails. And then once you're up here, you will also notice how there's this acrylic hatch that you can shut. So um, if you do have uh, people up here, particularly young kids, they won't fall down the hatch. So very smart of uh, Benito. Um, and then now, this is your fantastic entertaining platform up here. Um, you've got your grill with uh, space for platters and a sink. So you got a wet bar. You've got space underneath here for storage. You've got um, more of refrigeration space right here, which is fantastic. Um, and you have a lot of seating here, ton of seating. Right now we're in dining mode, um, so you can easily sit four people, if not more, up here for uh, nice cocktails or dinner. Um, of course, you are up high, so you're above all the other boats and you have an excellent visibility. Um, this helm chair uh, can spin around, obviously, so facing forward for a while underway. And this is a fantastic central command center. You've got your Ray Marine touchscreen here. Uh, this is a newer, very nice uh, VHF uh, radio. Um, autopilots, you've got your engine gauges, balanced strength thrusters, your throttles, trim tabs, so everything you need uh, while underway. I do like how you have a second forward facing companion seat and I think you will also find that people will head to this chair as well and stretch out um, for um, while underway. So that's a very comfortable seat with a nice uh, reclining seat back there so 
and then aft you have space for a tender this does have an electric winch so you can launch a tender easily with this launch of course you now have this massive platform for additional seating sunning or anything else so um, quite a nice addition to a boat that's already extremely well laid out Thank you.